Hello everybody and welcome to Piano Excellence for Life. In this short video, I will share with you three secrets of how to improve the quality of your playing instantly and how to be the boss of your fingers. I think many of you will agree that the most uncomfortable feeling when we play the piano is the feeling when we don't have a full control of our fingers. And the more you are in control of the whole situation, the more confidence and pleasure you will actually uh, receive from your playing. So let's talk about three very simple ideas that I have no doubts and I guarantee you if you try it, it's going to work out for you. So tip number one, whatever you work on, you need to learn to practice slower in order to have more time to control every single note. Especially if you're working on something that is challenging and is meant to be fast, something like this. You want to make sure when you practice it, you, you are really, really slow, so you have the time to control every single note. Right? So I can hear it, right? I can hear every single note. And for that, I need to be able to slow down. Tip number two is your hand position. So imagine if you are laying in bed, right? How, many, how much um, work you can do laying in bed? Maybe 5% of something. You can give somebody a call, you can read, but it's only 5%. So if your hand is in a very low position, there's really not much control you will feel. Imagine if you are in a sitting position. Yes, you can do more things, maybe 20% more. So if your hand position is a little bit higher, but it's still like that you again will not experience full control of your fingers but if you are on your feet you're standing you can do anything you want right 100 percent right you're very active and productive so same with our fingers you want to make sure you raise your thing uh, your hand a little bit so every finger now is in the same on the same length right especially our short fingers thumb and finger five make sure they are never never laying on the key Imagine if I would play. It don't <laughs> so terrible. And tip number three, if you want to be in control, you want to be physically more connected to your instrument. Sometimes when people practice, they are playing so, so light, you know? So, and of course it gives them this um, feeling of disconnect or I'm not attached to my instrument. And you can forget the control. You will never really feel it. But once you are challenging yourself and pushing yourself to actually have more sensitivity in your fingertip, so then you can actually grab each key, right, with, with a very sensitive and strong finger and in general have more connection, more physical connection to your instrument, you will see how it actually elevates not only the quality of your playing, that will happen for sure, but also it will help you to feel more confident. And let me tell you that actually the physical touch has nothing to do with dynamics. So if you see in your score a pianissimo, a triple piano or piano, it doesn't mean that you just barely have to touch the key. No, the physical touch, this to share beautiful French word for touch, um, is something that uh, exists beyond dynamics. Right? So you always want to be connected to your instrument, even when you play piano. And a lot of times, let me tell you, this is a real secret. A lot of times, the softer dynamic is, the more sensitive and more connected your finger needs to be to the instrument in order to still create a good shape right? and have be in control of this soft, soft, soft dynamic. I hope this is helpful, and I hope that you will try using those three tips and it will help you to grow in your piano playing and improve your playing. Thank you for watching and I look forward to talking to you in my next videos. Bye-bye!